Hello, this is our DMW mini project and our title is College Placement Prediction using Rapid Minor. My name is Bhavi Kronsube and my role number is 41261. My team members are Adeshok 41249, Gaurav Zanpure 41275 and Ritwik Pujari 41259. Now let's move to Rapid Minor. Now here we have imported our data and placed it in the local repository data section. Our data has been taken from Kaggle. Uh, a university made its on-campus placement data set which consists of 2,966 rows and following attributes such as age of the student, gender of the student, stream, number of internships he had done, CGP of the student, uh, if student is in hostel or not, history of backlog and if student is placed or not. So as you can see our data set is pretty clean and we don't need to and we don't have any missing values in our data set. Here all the types are integer uh, and for the gender and state it's nominal but uh, as you can see the all the values in pla uh, placed or not are either 1 or 0 hence we have converted it to binomial while importing the data now let's move to the process so this is our process so first we have used the retrieve operator so just we need to drag and drop the college placement data in our process Second, we are used sub process. A sub process can be considered as a small unit of process, like a process of all operators and combination of operators. So, where we are use replace missing values operator. So, here we have chosen attribute filter type as no missing value. But thankfully, our dataset didn't contain any missing values, so it's of no use but we have added it if it contain any then we have set role for the attribute name placed or not and we have target role as label now let's come back to process in split data we have split our data in to 80 and 20 percent then our split data has been passed to optimize parameter in optimize parameter grid the operator finds the optimal value of the selected parameters for the operators in its sub process in operator parameter grid we have applied cross validation so the operator performs the cross validation to estimate the statistical performance of the model Cross validation is a technique in which we train our model using the subset of the data set and then evaluate using the complementary subset of the data set. Now in cross validation in training section we have used decision tree operator. Then we have applied our model and to calculate its performance we have applied performance operator where we have manually set positive class as 1 means the student is placed also we have ticked accuracy and precision for result set now let's come back to process the remaining 20 percent of the data set has been taken for validation same similarly we applied model to that and to calculate performance is same for as that of the trained model. Similarly, we have set manually class as one, and for results set we have, we want accuracy and precision of that model. Now let's run it. So once the process runs successfully, we get green tick mark on every operator which concludes that there is no error present in the process. Now let's check out the results. Now as you can see, a decision tree has been formed. 
where the end leaf node consists of values of 1 and 0 which means the student is placed or not. Now let's check the performance vector. So the performance vector 1 which in which which is of training data set we have achieved an accuracy of 88.11% which is quite good and a class precision of 92.56% on predicted 1 and 83.51% on predicted 0. Now similarly for the validation data set we have received an accuracy of 87.69 which is quite near to that of the training data set and here we have received class precision of 92.36% and of 82.88%. This is an example set for the optimized parameter grid where the placed or not has been highlighted in green as we have set as label. Now let's check out other models. Then we have a second classification algorithm is gradient boosted trees. In gradient boosted trees we have chosen 50 number of trees. The rest of the process remains same. The third algorithm we have chosen is KNN, K nearest neighbors, where our K value is 5. The fourth algorithm we have chosen is near bias, and this is our near bias operator. So after comparing the accuracy of every model uh, we can conclude that the decision tree accuracy is 88 it was the highest issued accuracy among all other algorithm we received accuracy of 88 in decision tree in gradient boosted trees we received accuracy of 87 in knn we received accuracy of 85 and in nearby we received accuracy of 81 Hence, we can conclude that decision tree algorithm gives best accuracy for our college placement dataset. Thank you.